All right, so on this problem here, it says find the value of f of 2. So what it's really saying is what is the y value when x is 2? So I come down to the graph. It looks like I go up here to 5. So each of these spaces then would be 1. So when x is 2, y would be 2. And that's my answer. So f of 2 is 2. Now it says when y, f of x, equals 4. So I'm going to go up to y until I find 4. And it crosses the line right there. If I drop straight down, x is 4. So my answer would be x is 4. f of 6. So that would be what is y when x is 6. So I come over here when x is 6, go up, it intersects the graph right there, go across, y is 8 when x is 6. So f of 6 would be 8. Now it's saying what is y, no, um, what is x when y is 16. So y is 16. So I'm coming up here to y is 16, and it crosses right there. So what is my x value? I come down here, and I find out it's 8. Now in number 10, it says, what do you notice in the way it goes? Well, as I followed my graph, any time it was like 1 or 3, 5, I really couldn't tell where it was crossing at but every time it was an e x was even, I could figure it out. So what I did is I just went through and I put x's on only on the even numbers. Because when x was odd, it would just get really confusing to me and I wouldn't know. So I just tried to leave that out. Then when I looked at it, I could see that it was just doubling each time. So I knew then that was r would be 2. But when what would I have to do to x to get it to go to just the evens and I came to realize that if I went like if I took x and I went half of it so like here when x is 2 it would be 2 to the 1 power which would be 2 when x is 4 2 1 half of 4 would be 2 so 2 squared is 4 when x is 6, 1 half of 6 is 3, so 2 cubed would be 8. And I came up with my equation like that. So, hope this helps.